Hey guys, how's it going? This is Helpful Lockpicker here, and the video I have for you today is going to be a second look at the Leashy M1 MS2 2-in-1 Pick and Decoder tool. This is a video that I initially did where I wasn't too pleased with it. What happened was I picked it utilizing um, a Master Lock Model Number 3, and it just didn't seem to work right. The tool didn't fit very well. I had a hard time picking the lock open, and I had an equally hard time decoding the lock. So what I'm going to do today is do a, another look at this tool so we can check it out together, because I want to give it a more objective view. I felt like I didn't have a higher enough sample size to be able to be fair to the tool, because generally speaking, Leashy tools are excellent, and they do a really great job. So what I'm going to do is let me start off by opening up a master lock and let's try to decode it together so we can check that out and what I'm gonna do is place this right in the vise here so we can check it out together so one thing I do feel like is that this tool is really not the ideal tool for picking a lock it could just be me but every time I've tried to pick a lock with it especially the master lock model number three it's just much easier to utilize a traditional method of opening it up. So what I'm going to do is to show you how this tool can insert right into the keyway here. And then we're going to try to get this open. I'm going to give it a quick attempt with picking it, but I'll be honest with you, I don't usually have much luck. But as you can see, I, I just don't know. I do land on the pens. I do get a few of them to bind but it's just not something that's going to open tremendously fast. So what I like to do is I do not find that to be a fun approach, but I do find the following approach pretty fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do bottom of the keyway tension. Then we're going to line it up with our really fun Kronos tool. Let's see if we can open it up. Do some light tension. And it's pretty funny when these don't open up with the Kronos tool right away either. But one thing I have found is these locks I love to just zip open. But we're going to keep trying. Are we going to get another win for Master Lock? Who knows? Let's see, try to hit that back then. All right, so that's not opening right away using the Kronos tool, but we'll keep trying on a few different examples. What I'm gonna do is do a quick little zip, and that's usually the best approach to get these locks opened up. As you can tell, with just a few zips, this lock was pretty trivial, which it always is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to insert my tool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this little tension wrench in the top here so we can hold it in place. And the main point of this video is going to be more or less looking at the decoding feature than the picking ability of the tool, because I feel like that's really the only important part of the tool, because a master lock M1 keyway is not going to be a lock that should be too difficult for you to get open. All right, so we got the tool in. And one thing I was finding with these tools is the little lip at the bottom. You got to just be so careful that you have the tool fully inserted, which I do now, because that is what was throwing off my ability to decode it. And now that we have this squared up here, what I'm going to do is try to zoom in a little bit and let's take a good look at the decoding. So when I take a look at the key, I'm going to see that the blind code on the back is 3146. So 3146, if you run that through a key code website, that's going to bring you out to a code 0223. So let's go through and see what we get. So on the first one I am getting a 0. The second one I am getting what believes to be a 2. The third one I'm getting a 2 as well. And the fourth one does look like it is going to be a 3. So this tool did decode well in my previous video, I said that this did not decode well, but in a larger sample size, when I've tried out a few different locks, I have been able to get it to decode. So that is one successful 
lock so far. So let's close this one up. We'll take a quick look at the blind code. 3146. And we got a code 0223. So taking another look at this tool, let's try it out on a, another master lock model number three, since that was what my theme of my theme was when I was upset with this tool. So here I have a little bit of an older one right here. We'll load this one up in the vise and we're going to zoom back out all the way. And just for the fun of it, we're going to try out the Kronos tool again. And I do think it will be quite funny if I fail with this tool again, but let's try it out. So once again, I'm not having much luck. So we're going to try my zipping approach. But my goal is to just show you that these are pretty easy locks to pick open. And you don't really need the leashy pick to get it open in the first place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did last time. I'm going to do my best to hold the lock in the open position. And then I'm going to insert my tool once again. I'm going to pull this out and insert that all the way. So I just got to be very careful that it doesn't lock back up and that you keep it fully inserted. So zooming in one more time, and I'm going to look at the key as well. So we have a key that I cut and actually on this one, the blind code's actually on the front of the lock because I never erased it off. And it's surprising it's still there because it's such an old lock is three nine. Two nine, and that code's going to be 5625. So this is a lock that I actually did not have a key to, which I was pretty happy to be able to make one. So 5, 6, 2, and 5. So I want to say that this is decoding the locks very well, and it is able to do a pretty decent job. And I do want to apologize that I was so critical on the tool in the first place. My biggest concern was this little lip right here. And if you're not very careful, you may not be able to get the tool to work, but you gotta be extremely, extremely careful. So the last lock I wanna feature is just gonna be this Brinks lock, which happens to have the M1 keyway, which I did feature in my previous video. But this is just to show you an example of picking. I found this tool to be pretty responsive picking this lock, but I found the master lock model number threes were a bit more difficult for whatever reason. But we're going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm going to adjust our vise so we can see what we're doing. And then we're going to move this tool back just a smidge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some clockwise tension. I'm going to start off with one. I just got to click on one, click on two, click on three. I got a false set, counter rotation, and the lock is now opened up. So when you take a look at the key on this lock, it does not actually have the blind code written on it, but I am not exactly sure if the key is on the back right now, but we will decode it and we will take a look. So. We're going to start off with a number one cut, then we're going to have a number five cut, it looks like. Then we're going to have, let's see, number four cut, then a number two cut. So if I remember correctly, that is a one, five, four, and two. So the moral of the story today is I just would like to say that the 
M1, MS2, Leashy Tool. It is something that is very usable. I did find that it was difficult in one of my master locks, but I should have had a little bit of a bigger sample size before I made any assumptions. But either way, guys, I hope this was fun, and it was pretty cool seeing the Kronos tool not opening up this lock as well. One thing that people are concerned about on this tool is if you can see the little tip there, which it may not be in focus, it's a little bit curved. That may have to do with the keyway, but I do wonder if that's why it makes it feel a little bit weird when you're picking the pens. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. I would just like to say that I do feel that this is a pretty decent tool. It does get the job done if you use it on the right locks, and I want to say that it is a tool that I'm going to keep using and I'm happy to have it. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please drop those in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.